if you're hooked on uh, out, uh, the out world, you, you'll, you'll never be able to, uh, to explore and reveal and experience your inner world. So it took a while till I find my teacher. She was like a 70-year-old uh, lady. She looked like she was 45. That looked pretty old for me back then. I was 20. <laughs> uh, and she said she was 68. I, I was shocked. So obviously she was doing something right. But so in the beginning, I, I went to the first session. I was just doing what she was telling me. She said, uh, body, breath, mind. That was, that was her mantra. So the whole physical part is also, it's also, it's also um, actually a tool to, to go inside. But Good morning. Good morning to you, Yair. I appreciate you know, your time today, early in the morning, with your cup of coffee. So, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm happy, happy to host you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, actually, when, when we spoke at the beginning, you know, you, you have a decade, of even may, maybe more of experience in uh, yoga and teaching yoga. And, you know, because the channel speaks about different elements, the first thing I, I thought to talk to you about is the movement. Like, you know, when you told me yoga, first thing I thought about moving, stretching, strength. And then you, you told me, oh, wait, yoga, before movement, it's, it's first mindset. And that's another one of the elements. So maybe I'll just, you know, you're, you're, you're the teacher. I'll let you just more explain what is yoga. Uh, when people say yoga, what, what do they mean when they say yoga? What's behind that word? And maybe, of course, also later we'll, we'll be a little bit more practical with what uh, any person can do and what are the benefits. Okay, so, so the truth is to, to give yoga words is a, tricky, is a tricky thing because it's some kind of being. And if you would look in, in Wikipedia, uh, I think it, the definition would be a mystical, spiritual movement in the world that also has some physical movements with it. Um, that would probably be the de definition, which is closer to the truth, in my opinion. In my humble opinion, I've been I'm a yoga pr practitioner for uh, the eight, past 18 years. Um, and I must say that it has been a journey, and yoga itself takes time till it reveals itself to you. But in general, uh, to start from the beginning, the first, the first uh, hand script of something writ written about uh, yoga was 2,000 years ago by um, uh, a very smart man uh, in India. His name was Patanjali. Um, I think it's around 2,000, 2,500 years ago. Mm -hmm. And they say he's the first one who actually wrote, wrote uh, about yoga. And... and, and they say that it goes back 4,000 or 5,000 years. Just to compare, in Judaism, 2,000 years ago, it was around the time of Tanaim, they started writing things that were in the air, and they started writing them down. So this is like ancient, ancient wisdom. And mostly, it, it has, it has a, like around 250, depends uh, which version, around two, two, 250 sentences. Um, and so do you want to, want to take a guess how many of them talk about physical movements out of 250? And you know, you just, you, you, you say yoga yeah. in YouTube, you have, we were just talking, you have all these uh, women with bathing suits doing all these stretches, etc. Um, maybe 40%? How, maybe 40 percent so. well, cuz like you said like when you say yoga so what comes up is only that like maybe right. even more 50 okay so so there there are two sentences talking about about physical pose two, two out of 250 wow. and this is this is this is yeah and and then another big another very big foundation about uh, of yoga is breathing breathing there are five sentences Wow. That's it. That's and it. what's all the rest? All the rest is about conscience and spirit and mindset. And these are all words. Um, it is challenging for uh, a Western modern person to try to understand. There has been um, a lot of commentary 
people writing um, what they understood. There is a very, very common a commentary um, from, from the 5th century, Vyasa, a different, and, and they wrote more technique, and they wrote more physical things, but, the, but the, this is, well, so, so I'm just nothing. explaining, so yeah, yeah, so it's nothing. So basically, it's all work of mind, and actually bringing, bringing one to his own, to, to the Atman, to, 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 the, to the inner, inner uh, soul, or inner being, these are all words, uh, that we're trying to, uh, that are trying to define and explain something, something that's inside, and there all there also are some basic moral. Uh, you're not allowed to steal. You're not allowed to cheat. Uh, karma things. Uh, karma is like law of uh, of good and bad, and you're trying to be on on the bright side of being a good being in the world. And trying to know the world and yourself. So basically, wow. yeah, yeah. So basically, <laughs> they talk about they talk about five dimensions of conscience of 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 uh, of, uh, of you knowing yourself. Of course, if you'll be attached to physical uh, to physical to to physical habits of your of yourself, uh, and this connects to your podcast very well. If you if you if you're um, if you're hooked on. Uh, at the outworld, you, you'll you'll never be able to uh, to explore and reveal and experience your inner world. So basically, so that's like the main. So it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual mystical movement, and it has uh, many uh, many um, some physical elements in it. Some physical elements, and as the, and so so these physical uh, elements were exist also from the beginning but it may well be that the the most uh, common physical element is just just being able to to be healthy and sit straight and still and meditate that may be so in order to be able to really be there so you need to strengthen up your body and you need to have you need to have no disease in yourself so there's a whole part of yoga that talks about uh, Kriya Yoga, about cleaning yourself, cleaning. You have yogis sticking things through their nose and taking uh, wow. salt water and uh, we'll stop there. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of uh, things. So you want to clean yourself and be strength, to strengthen yourself and be, uh, work with, with uh, the chakras, which are um, energy centers, and when you have all, the, all when you have the vessel flowing and alive and healthy, so then you could actually bring your whole potential to start bringing yourself inside, and 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 um, I would say be present with your with your own self. So so the, so the whole physical part is also it's also it's also. Um, actually a tool to, to go inside, but the, the thing that, that defines uh, yoga practice, um, even the physical yoga practice from going to the gym, for instance, is when you go to the gym, you're, you're saying, okay, I need to do 10 reps of this and 10 reps of this, and you're on the treadmill, and you're thinking about the hamburger or the shake or whatever for afterwards, and that's not yoga. Yoga is actually... Um, I'm actually using my mind and my concentration to learn my body, not because the body is the most important thing, but I want to also strengthen this uh, this um, muscle of concentration, which is which is a, an inability, a skill, which is like a like a like a muscle, just trying to be focused in one thing, taking all of my awareness instead of being outside. I'm bringing myself inside, and in the beginning, we use uh, the body as the main tool, and that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning, beginning, beginning. Right, but that's only the beginning. But you, you said so many beautiful things here. I'm just I'm going back to what you just now mentioned. You said to be focused on one thing. You mm -hmm. realize saying that sentence in 2023 today, <laughs> it doesn't work. Like people are focused on so many different things, and you you can't really do multitasking like. In order to do something, someone asked me yesterday, uh, how, how much time do you need to work? I said, listen, if, if I'm focused, 
I could do the same 12 hour work also in six hours. So I think it's beautiful that the yoga gives you that opportunity to practice that muscle because it's a muscle. You know, I'm sure you had, you had uh, students at the beginning, it's much harder for them just to focus for, sure. for a little bit. And then, for sure. and it's like anything in life, it's a muscle that you build. So I think that's really beautiful. And also it's, it's basically, it's a tool in order to dive deeper inside into yourself and to know yourself better when you know yourself better. So you could basically first, you know, you provide for yourself more of your own presence, more like you see more of your own beauty. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you, be, you, you create for yourself a better life when you have a better life. You also create a better life for people around you. But my, my what I'm trying to understand is, number one, how, how do people stay in focus when focus is the last thing people do like these days? Because mm -hmm. it sounds like impossible. You know, so many things jump up, whether it's social media, whether it's work, whether it's like right. a million things come from this. So first, how do you work on that focus? And second, you went into yoga also for, you know, to recover from an injury. Mm -hmm. So what are those uh, like if you could give some tools or simple steps like how can people also benefit from yoga if we're from the physical part because we understood the main is the mind it's crazy like we only talk about the movement of the yoga like i thought yeah it's it, only it, it's, movement it's, yeah it's, it's a small part but i yeah. also want if you could also afterwards uh mention that after you speak a little bit about the focus part if you could mention how how yoga how the movement part of yoga and the breath can benefit us in in the day-to-day -day, in the routine sure so First of all, we just talked about the challenge first. The challenge today is probably larger than ever, ever, <laughs> ever in the history. You know, <laughs> yeah, we picture like these yogis in a, in a cave, you know, <laughs> the birds are, uh, you know, outside yeah. and in the wind and, and you're, the just, water you're like... just aware of everything. Yeah, it's, a, it's great. It's great uh, to connect. To, na to nature, I mean, connecting to nature in general um, is is one of the beautiful things that uh, that we have in in life. And as modern people, we're disconnected. And even if, even if you see people going to going on hikes or whatever, so you'll see them in the cell phone. And when oh and when you go, even if you go into the internet, there's this popping up, this popping up. Everything wants to capture. Um, the world has uh, understood that the most valuable thing is our attention. And so, so, so it's really, really hard. It's really, really, really hard. I'll tell you a funny story. Um, when I started uh, yoga, I was, I was after... Uh, I had a back injury from the army. I was after the army. I traveled already a lot. And I understood that if I want to take care of my back, now is a good opportunity. I don't, I don't want to like wake up every morning with my back hurting and I want to find something. So it took a while till I find my teacher. She was like a 70 year old uh, lady. She looked like she was 45. That looked pretty old for me back then. I was 20. <laughs> uh, and then she said she was 68. I, I was shocked. So obviously she was doing something right. But so in the beginning, I, I went to the first session. I was just Doing what she was telling me, she said, uh, body, breath, mind. That was, that was her mantra. Body, breath, mind. And so do this, do this, do this. Now, seven ishma, with, with not understanding much, I was just doing, do 40 breaths, okay? So I put my hands on my, on my stomach and my chest, and I did 40 breaths, and I see my mind dozing away, and I say, I'm coming back, okay. Again, I'm trying to, so I had, oh, this, I said, oh, this is exactly like Birkat Amazon. This is exactly like praying as a Jew, as a, as a practicing Jewish person. This, I knew, I knew this disconnection of, of my awareness from, from my other practice. I said, oh, if I'll be able to overcome this obstacle of mind flowing everywhere, uh, maybe I'll be able to say Birkat Amazon. The, oh, nice. the, 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 the blessings for the food in a straight way. Maybe, maybe. So for the first time, I had like this connection. Nice. And was, it was, it was, it was like in the middle of, you know, me going far away and trying to disconnect myself from Thailand. my, from, yeah, yeah, northern Thailand. I was trying to go to India, but I had, uh, <laughs> I had some mis mysterious uh, visa problems. No, no one, no one has visa problems. No Israeli has visa problems. I did, but I, I, I was very fortunate to be with this, uh, 
with his teacher, Mama Mam, her, her name was. So, so the, first, the first rule is actually anything that I do, I try to, uh, I try to be aware of body, breath, and mind. And now that I tell you this, so this seems like a lot. Because when we talk, when we break it into words, so my mind is my mind, and my breath is a whole other world, and my body is, is something else. So in the beginning, it really is. It's like different parts of me. Okay, now I'm focusing on my breath. Now I am fo- focusing on, on my alignment. Now I'm a fo- now now. Now, now my, I was thinking about what I have after, afterwards. Um, so in the beginning, it's very hard, and it's a lot of things to try to bring together. The word yoga itself has, um, has different explanations, but it seems like the most... Uh, it's in Sanskrit, it's an ancient... Uh, ancient um, um, language that they were talking in the East uh, a long time ago. And it seems like uh, yoga, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, new age explanations about oneness and uh, togetherness, which, which, which that really means, but it means, um, um, I, don't, I don't have the word in English, like to take the, like, like when, when, when you put on a cow, the, the the yeah, to bring it so, like to attach. S- Maybe something, something uh, like attached, like yeah. that. Uh, my What's son that? is uh, playing uh, music outside. Amazing, that's great. I love it. <laughs> okay. So, so in the beginning, so we'll give we'll give an example from from a swimming lesson. So in the swimming lesson, they tell you, okay, you only need to learn one thing, which okay. is one, two, three, four. Taking, taking air and then going, but basically you need to know how to float, you need to know how to breathe, and you need to time yourself. So in the beginning, it's a lot of things. And then when you start learning, when you start doing these things over and over, so your mind starts to understand what, what, what it takes in order to be aware of these three dimensions. I just said three dimensions, but... Um, I, I said in the beginning that, 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 that let's say that the spiritual part has also some, some you know, uh, uh, some levels. And we didn't talk about emotions and we didn't talk about energy and we didn't talk about imagination <laughs> and we didn't talk about. Uh, so, so, there, so, so there are many more dimensions. So the real masters, uh, they were they were mastering each and each each one of these uh, dimensions, like a strong, flexible, energetic, uh, healthy body, and like full breathing, and, 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 and being there all the time, being there <laughs> all the time. So, so what that gives you in life, instead of being, you know, instead of, instead of just reacting from a low side of yourself, you're there. So you see the problem when it's little and you're creative and smart enough to solve it when it's there um, and not letting things get bad and get, get worse and then you're stuck with a big problem. Yeah. Uh, one of the Taoist uh, uh, famous books, the, the Tao, I'm sure you... Uh, yeah. So he says that all... all all of the big problems used to be something very little that was very easy to solve, and you just didn't know. You just uh, weren't aware of it. I, I so, like that, but I think it's it's also it's it's more than only the problem. It's also when you're aware and you're focused, like and you're here. So it's not. It's also all the, there's so much beauty already over here. I'm saying right. So I'm saying it's not. It's not only the challenges. It's also the, you could have now an amazing breakfast with someone you appreciate all by yourself. But if your head, your mind, you said is here and there, like our mind is all over, so we, we, don't, we, enjoy, we don't enjoy it. Enjoy life. And it's I, true. And I, I once I made for myself a really good breakfast. And you know, if, if another person would be there, amazing. But then I was by myself. And I said, okay, now I want to be aware for this breakfast. And I was eating and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And, I, and then I was like, later on, I was like, a day ago I had the same thing. I, I was just like having it fast on the way to work, running here. 
So I, I really love all of the benefits that you, that you mentioned that, that the focus can bring. And you know, many people probably watching now are saying, wait, but you're talking about all these masters that were, you know, uh, mind, body, and uh, breathing. You said it's a practice. It, right. Is that something? Right. I believe that anyone can achieve almost anything if they put the work and practice into it. Of course, there are people that are more skilled and whatever, but from your experience, you see students that are like, I could talk about myself, yeah, I'm, I'm, it took me a long time, I'm still working on it, but do you see students that the focus is like it's going all over, but with practice, they, you, like they see the improvements? And of course. So first of all, you could see, you could see the difference of, of awareness from the beginning of a class till the end. My class is an hour and 15 minutes. You see people come, I always say, take a moment, see that you close, that you silently put your cell phone on silent. If you have to get back to someone before, do it, take another minute or two so you can fully be here present. Um, then see that you went to the bathroom. Important, we're here. <sighs> It's like a, it's like a, there's like a, it's like a threshold, not a miftan. You need to like go, there's like, there's like an entrance to, to the, to the practice. And there's something, there's something um, that's not so good because then people say, ah, yoga is on the mat in the studio. And then there's outside life, which is outside life. And this is something that I, I, it happens to me as well. Sometimes, you know, like I'm after, I'm exhausted after a day. I've been teaching, and I'm not so proud of the way I eat, or uh, that affects my sleep, or whatever. So that, that happens sometimes too, like this, uh, this uh, separation. And what we're trying to do is, first of all, okay, but, but, but make the practice part of life, and make life part of the practice. But that's like a big, big goal. But I'm just talking about the practice itself, in the course of an hour and 15 minutes, Anyone, you don't need to go for 10 years to, the, to be in the cave and then you'll understand what the benefits of yoga. No. You go to one class after 10 minutes of practicing meditation and then you talk about meditation and mindfulness as part of yoga. Yoga has many, many structures and many, many uh, uh, dimensions, as I said. But uh, what became very popular the last couple, of, like last decade or two, is the whole practice of mindfulness. So this is just a fun way to work with your body. And in that aspect, this is, this is I'm just putting it aside, this is a whole uh, another topic, um, why in my opinion, yoga is a great, yoga and other body, body movement meditations are suitable for the modern person. Cause, because, because it's not just sitting for 10 minutes and st being still, which is, exactly the opposite of what we're doing we're chasing and we're moving uh, all over here i'm actually telling you come move me move with me and let's and and let's just let let our conscience be within the movement and we're we're, we're learning something that actually the body benefits from and it calms down a lot of you know uh, the nerve system the immune system digesting the system Everything actually comes down with the breathing, and the mind doesn't need to like like from to nothing. You have something in the middle, so that's 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 another um, that's another uh, subject. But uh, I'm also saying that. So I'm saying you could you could you could understand and feel the benefits in one class, and you could and you could even even after 15 minutes, people say, ah, I don't have I don't have an hour I don't have an hour and a half, so I'm not going to do anything at home. I said, you don't need to do an hour and a half a day. Give me 10 minutes. I mean, I'll, I'll give you the suitable, um, uh, the, right, the right exercises for you, for your goals, for people who want to work on their stability, their people who have back pain, uh, almost everyone has shoulder, neck problems. So I said, okay, let's just do, you know, like a session of, of five minutes of rolling shoulders and neck and breathing and being aware and being aware your day will be different your your whole week will be different the next time you come back to the studio you'll be different and you'll start the class from a different place but you could really these you know uh, these benefits you could really you could really uh, 
you could really get them. You could really get them into your life if you if you uh, if you just give little bites of it. And I'll say the most uh, the most important thing is actually not the not how long the practice is, is that you do it over and over, over and over every day. Hi, I hope this video is serving you. I just want to share with you that my belief in life is that you are here to serve a purpose greater than yourself. But in order to do that the best way, you must start with investing in yourself. Enjoy the rest of the video. I saw, I saw a research, they said that the benefits that the brain gets from meditation, you could start, the brain starts getting to the, to the areas of a deep meditation in 12 minutes. Even if you're, even if you're not, uh, you said, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really doing it because my brain is going all over. So here, for, for all the people who are just who are saying, oh, mindfulness, yoga, meditation, this is, this is uh, people think that it's being in this calm. So this is meditation. I set, a, I, set a, I set a time, I put a timer, I start with seven minutes. Anyone could do seven minutes. If, you, if you're afraid of seven minutes, start with five minutes, okay? And you say, okay, for a week, the best way is also journaling. You just right in the beginning, oh, I had a great time. Oh, this was so long. The worst five minutes of my life. Ah, and you just sit, <laughs> whatever. It's the best. If you know how to breathe, it's the best. If you know how to send yourself, you know how to relax. If you don't know anything, you could just lie on your back and wait for five minutes. And you're just taking your whole awareness. If, if awareness for a metaphor is like a, like, a, like a beam of light. So instead of looking outside, you're just going to be aware of the air coming out and air coming in of your body. That's all. That's all. For five minutes, that's it. Very easy, and then after two time, after two breaths, so your mind starts wandering because that's what it's used to be doing. So that's fine. That's part of the meditation. Part of the meditation. Part of the of the exercise is actually getting lost. Is actually losing your focus. That's fine, and the magic starts when you notice. Who, who is me? Who, who, who am I if I'm not my thoughts? That, that, that is a philosophical question. But me, I understand that I've been wandering and I come back. And that's, that's the practice. In, in like two minutes, you relax, you bring awareness inside, air coming in, air coming out, and then you're going to lose it. And then the moment that you notice, you just come back to yourself. That's it. Very simple. You do that for five minutes, then you do it for seven minutes, then you do it for 12 minutes. Um, uh, and then things start happening. You start becoming aware of many physical things that are happening in your body. Many energetic things vibrate. Things relax. Um, you come out of, uh, of uh, a session like that, calmer, um, usually, usually, um, you have like a good feeling. I used to teach uh, kids, uh, yoga in school. Oh, it's, nice. it's, it sounds really great. Uh, I, me <laughs> personally, I, I, I didn't uh, enjoy it so much. I had a hard time, um, you know, like in school, but, uh, but when it used to work, when I used to have like a good group of kids that were part participating, so... I used to do like all these movements and breathing and exercise and that also helps helps focusing. That is a tip. That is and from my experience. There are people who do first breathing and then they go into the physical. I like to do the opposite. You start from like physical, you like warm up your body, you warm up the energy, then you go they get into like a deep meditation. So so the kids afterwards they used to like open their eyes, it's like wow. <laughs> And that's the way I used to feel. But you see kids like uh, their their faces light up. That that, that was like wow, that's great. Uh, yeah. Like a uh, very exciting moments of like kids experiencing the power of something so basic that's actually within them all the time, but they don't really you know they're in school, ah, uh, noise and like all of us. Yeah, 
True. And, but, 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 they, but yeah, but they just they were just expressing it in a beautiful way. Wow. Sometimes you have like, like like you see like the world like in a little different uh, color, like bluish color. Uh, sometimes. Um, so that's like the basic basic uh, line. Just put some time aside, even as a as an experiment. If you don't believe it, but you just see that everyone's talking about it. Especially if you feel an anxiety, you feel stressed, and everyone is saying, ah. so just try it. And there are many, many good teachers. There is Headspace, which is a whole program, meditation program, which is fit for modern... Uh, I, I, I me, me, myself, I haven't, uh, I, I just know of it. I have a friend that really got deep into meditation through that. There are many, many teachers uh, on, 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 the, on the web for free. Right, but I, I like actually how you made it simple because, you know, many times people hear yoga, see all the nice fancy sport clothes and like they think, okay, too, too, many, too much things over here and you just now broke it down for some, like first you broke it down into a simple thing that I'm not saying it's simple to, like it's simple to do, but you need to, like repetition, okay? N nothing in life, nothing worthwhile. You repetition. Can't, you, you, you can't build if you don't do it again and again, but the beautiful part is Number one, that you made it simple, everyone can do it. Number two is, yeah, understanding we need to have the repetition. Number three, which I really love, I think one of the biggest reasons that people stop with meditation and yoga is because, okay, they start, and then a thought comes up, and then, okay, it's not for me. But you're saying, no, okay, that's part of the process. Exactly. That's part of the process. And when people understand, they accept that that's part of the process. Right. Beautiful. Now you can continue. The thought came, probably beginning will come maybe not two minutes, every 10 seconds. And it's fine. It's okay. Right. It's, that's, that, that's the beauty. It's part of it. And, and the more you practice, you get better. You know, a, a baby, I don't know, maybe you know, but I never heard of a baby that was born walking. They, before they were crawling, they were moving, crawling, walking, falling. Now, right. thank God, you know, most people can walk. Right. So, but accepting that's part of the process, I think that's really beautiful. I just want to touch on like a, one more uh, aspect of the of the physical part. Mm -hmm. I know you yeah, said, no you problem. Said, no problem. Mm -hmm. Just you know, I I believe it's also part of it. I know it's only two sentences out of two fifty, but still. Uh, why is why like I have a lot of friends that also have injuries and those type of things, and they some of them told me yoga will help you. Yoga will like. I thought, no. I thought that, they were, that, that they were injured from yoga. That, I thought that was no, going to no, be your no, question. Because no, no, no. that happens too. No. Okay. So actually, by the way, when I practiced yoga, I have a back injury. So my, my teacher told me it was a few years ago since then I didn't do it. I mm -hmm. should go back. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, she told me I need to be careful for my certain practice because I'll injure myself more. But why forget about back injuries in, gen in general? And like in our routine life, we don't move too much. You know, even people who do sport and I'm one of them every morning. After that, I drive to work, so I'm sitting down, and then I sit down at work, and we, we sit down a lot, and you know, sitting down is new cancer. So, what, why is yoga so important for people just first in the routine? Like, what, why is the movement of yoga, why does it help us create a better life for ourselves from the physical perspective? Okay, so first of all, I'll, I'll say that any kind of sport or physical movement is good for you. And the best thing is to find something that you enjoy and you love, and that gets you motivated. The advantage of yoga over running or swimming, running is actually doing one thing. It's right, left, right, left, right, left, and your body is actually moving in one way. It's actually one dimension. And there is a lot, a lot of possibilities that the body doesn't get uh, get to do. And if you think about modern life, it's very, very, we, like the metaf my metaphor is like, it's like a robot. Cause, or like cause you're the sitting, computer or like the yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 especially, yeah, that's definitely the evolution <laughs> going slowly uh, yeah. and shoulders. But, but what about, but well, you have many, many people, I see this all the time, that, you know, anyone could just look at your neck, you could go up and down. What about, what about sidewise? So we don't do this a lot. And think about your waist and pelvis. And so, so the yoga gives you more angles of motion. So there are more, you know, there are martial arts that also do this. And there are 
other, uh, you know, capoeira, and, uh, and uh, there are many, many more methods that took the base of, of yoga, uh, Pilates, Feldenkrais, Ido Portal movement, a lot of, a lot of things that's, that, that understand that the body has, that you want to move all of the possibilities, and that gives you health. Because if you do one kind of sport, it also could be some kind of, of um, I don't know how you say, uh, uh, others, other parts of you don't get to be expressed. So that's great about yoga. And, and another thing is the, the mind part about it, the mind and b- breath. You know, when you're running, you have to breathe, but you don't really master your breathing. You don't really explore your breathing. And, and when you're running, you're, you'll breathe well. But when you're just sitting at home, are you going to be breathing deeply? Probably not. And this is, this is, kind, this is a kind of uh, another skill or another habit that you could enhance when you get into yoga. So it's more, more dimensions and angles of, move, of movement, which give your, uh, give your uh, joints and muscles uh, an opportunity to express themselves and open up and, and live at, at their best. And the whole breathing and mindful kind of uh, uh, practice, which, you know, I always tell my, uh, my students, I have, I have some morning classes and some evening classes. So I always tell them, you know, like, save the hard things for your, day, or your yoga day. Because you're going to have more patience you're going to be smarter after you do yoga. You may need to take a nap because you woke up at, f- at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> uh, but but uh, either that or in the evening, in the evening I say, okay, you know, this is a good time. Especially I have, I have, a, I have a, a class like in the, in the evening, people go home, say this is a good time for a good talk with your wife. This is, this is quality time for you in your, with yourself, with yourself in life. Don't waste it. Don't, don't, don't go watch TV now. Because yeah. uh, it gives you something, something uh, precious to, to experience. And it, it would be a waste not to use it. And to, For sure. To come and it, it sounds like, you know, like I'm going back to the beginning of our conversation. Basically, doing the yoga, whether it's the physical part or the mind part, which come together, you know, the physical is to go inside. But it's basically to open more doors into your body and into, into the capabilities uh, that your body can do and that, that your mind has basically opening the door into the treasure that is you yeah so i i, th- I think that's beautiful because you know if we also make it really simple let's say you know i'm assuming most of the people listening to this over here have a car okay <laughs> like, like i like when things are simple if you don't take care of your car uh, you know, the car won't be so good, won't drive so good, it will take more gas, it will get more tired, it will eventually would collapse. Right. So, and, and we put money into our car all the time, you know. <laughs> so We what, have to, if not, you don't get your license, but about yourself, you don't need to take... Uh, exactly. And, and I think when people practice, you said there are many different types, yoga is one of them, but basically practice that movement, practice that working on, you know, on awareness of being conscious, you know, the second we are aware, we live life. We see much more of the beauty that is here. We could walk through the same, the same things every day, but we're not, we're not appreciative of them. So when we work also on, the, on our body, on the physical part, and, and, and our mind, I think it's, it's both together, you know, mind, body. So we, then we're able to see the treasure, treasure that is already in us, you know, each person has it. And you said it really simply, and I, I really love, you know, what you said, I'm going back to it, about the fact that, you know, when things come up, when obstacles come up, that's part of the path. There's a saying in uh, in uh, Stoicism that uh, whatever is uh, whatever obstacle is on your path is now your your new path. So whatever is on your path, it's meant for you. If it's there, it's there for you, and it's part of the that. path now. I like that too. And and that that understanding is first, you know, I think in any field in life, but especially yoga and and exercise that, or different types of movement that people say, no, it's not for me. <laughs> It's beautiful, you know, on the video, but it's not for me. So people need to understand that, yes, it is for you. You need to do what is good for you. You mentioned before, and I love that, that do that type of movement that is good for you, because if you don't like it, you won't do it. Uh, maybe you'll go, you know, two, three times, but you'll stop. So understanding that that obstacle is part of your path and understanding that 
it basically allows you to go deeper in you and discover much more of the beauty and the treasure that is in you. I think it's beautiful. Uh, so I really appreciate you for sharing all that. And maybe we'll also put a link for the Headspace. Is there any place that people can find you? Uh, yeah, I have, I have a YouTube channel. It has some stuff. I'm on, fa- I'm on Facebook as well. I want to give another tip for people maybe saying, oh, okay, I'll try yoga. You're supposed to, you're supposed to, supposed to, that's not a good beginning. If you're interested in saying, okay, I want to try to feel this, I want to experience this. So the best thing is just to see where you have a yoga class that's close to your work or close to your house, something that could work out with your, with your uh, time, timeline of, uh, of work or whatever. You know, I, I, I lost some really good, good students of mine that moved away. They tried to come from far away. I said, forget it. Forget it. Just find something that works that's close to your work, close to your house. And uh, I'm, happy, uh, I'm happy you're with me for whatever time you were. The good foundations go on. But that's number one. It needs to be comfortable. Number two is to find a teacher that you connect with. That's so important. So important. And don't wait to say, okay, after a half a year, then I'll start understanding what yoga. You're supposed to understand the benefits of yoga after one session. Maybe two. Maybe two. Of course, in the beginning of the yoga class, you're going to be looking outside and you won't know the, the names of the, of the animals and the poses and whatever. You won't know. And that is a, that, that is a contradiction because I said, oh, it's, it's being focused inside. So it's a, it's a learning curve and it takes time. But you should go to somewhere, to, to, to some teacher that you connect to, that you feel that, that this person is generous, this person is nice, this person could be a good teacher for you. And after one or two classes, you should be able to know if there's chemistry, if it works. And that's a good way to go. That's the way I did. This is the way I, I, I tell everyone uh, who asked me, what, what do you need to look? Uh, headstands like this. No, you just need to see, did you have a good time? Did you feel like you were calmer in the end? Did you understand what he said? Or he's talking about, talking with all of these uh, terms, Sanskrit terms, whatever. So just look for someone else. That's it. It, nice. should, be ac- it should be accessible. And just, just uh, this tip was very, very meaningful for me. This is the way I found my teachers. Um, I was always uh, looking for someone to take me up to the, to, to the top of the hill, to, to the top of the mountain. But I, I had this, this sense that I need to feel a connection in my heart to the teacher. So that's, t- so that's a tip. And I just want to say the last thing about yoga is that the real yogis were really connected to everything. It's not a spiritual way that gets you all close, closed from the world, and oh, I need quiet, and I need to be with myself, and oh, and these are all sorts of things that people avoid yoga because, because they think, oh, I need to, you need to be some sort of, uh, mm-hmm. of person. No, the, the goal of yoga is to connect you to yourself, and once you're connected to yourself, you're connected to life, to nature, to the beauty of everyone, loving people. That, that's what yoga is. That's, the why, that's why I really connected to it. It wasn't like, oh, you go into this monastery and you're quiet for 20 days. No, you're supposed to be, you know, in life. You're, you're supposed to be connecting. So you're doing these motions and you're breathing, but it is connected to life. Beautiful. Well, I love it. And I think, you know, I, I, again, going back to make it simple, also ever listen, you know, at home, you know, Eitan made it pretty simple. Just, you know, find that place, like you said, that is close to you, that you connect to the teacher and understand that's the main thing. It's part of life. It's not 20 minutes an hour that you sit in a cave or in a closed studio. And it, no, that gives you the energy, the tools to basically make the rest of your life better. And yeah, some days you won't feel like it. And it's, it's fine. Exactly. It's all good. It's exactly. part of the game. Exactly. Uh, but I, re- I really appreciate you making that clear and simple. And it's, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Allah, I'm happy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and you got some tools to overcome your challenges and light your path. For us to help other people, please press that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget that the most amazing things in life 
by the one you take for granted.